you. Come on, put your hands together this morning and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Now that would be okay if I was asking you to give me a praise, amen. But if the Lord has been good to you, come on and give God a praise this morning. If he's done anything for you this morning, stand on your feet this morning and clap your hands like they're on fire this morning. Come on, let's give God a praise for just being good to us. Because he's God. And he's God all alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, make some noise for Jesus this morning. Because when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. Come on, come on, come on this morning. God has been good to us. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody woke up but they wasn't in their right mind this morning. Somebody woke up but they didn't have the use that giving of their limbs, amen. Somebody woke up but they didn't know where they was at, amen. But the Bible says, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Does anybody have a praise on the inside this morning? Hallelujah. We're going to ask Deacon Sidney if he will come this morning, lead us in our prayer consecration. Amen. As we move forward in service this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it by your head. Oh, gracious Father God, we come to you this morning, Father. Say, I thank you so much, Father. Father, you continue to keep us, Lord, in our undeserved way. Yes, yes, God. Lord, we don't want to take this minute for granted, Lord, because we know, God, that it's, it's one minute, Father God, and then that one minute is gone. Yes. We thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for bringing us together, God, on this heart on this hollow ground. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the word that is spoke today, God, we pray, Heavenly Father, that it can allow us to continue on and save a soul, Father. We ask, Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, that you give the pastor the words. Father God, we ask God that you give the quiet, Father God, the voice to sing. We ask, Heavenly Father, that those, God, that make up the congregation can join in and praise, Father God, and give you glory, praise, and honor, because you are truly do that, Father. We thank you for your holiness, Heavenly Father. We thank you, God, for giving us a warm bed last night. We thank you, Father God, for our voice, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for our very being, God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for a sound mind and sober judgment, Lord. We thank you, God, for allowing us, Heavenly Father, to make it to this place, Lord. God, we could have been anywhere, God. We could have been in prison centers, God. God, we could have been six feet under, Father God. But you allow us to be able to make it here. And for that, Lord, we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Brother God, you are good to us, Heavenly Father. Each and every day, Heavenly Father, you are good to us. Brother God, you're better than us than we can be to ourselves, Father God. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Father God, thank you for your son Jesus, God, that was beaten and bruised, Father thank God, you, so that we may have an opportunity, Father God, to meet you in glory. We thank you for the sin that was paid for, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the sin that was paid, Father God, your blood, your blood, Father God, your blood, 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 your blood. There was a covenant of blood, Father God, that was shared, Father God, for the remission of our sins. We thank you. May the words of our mouth, meditation on our best self, and your son. You are our strength and our redeemer. In Christ Jesus, Lord, we pray. We say it together. Amen. 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 Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. We thank you for taking it, man, for leading us, amen, in our prayer of consecration. Amen. But I'm going to challenge you this morning, amen, as our praise and worship team come. I'm going to challenge you, amen, not to wait until they begin to sing to have a praise, amen. But sometimes we got to bring our own praise, amen, just in case something malfunctioned on us this morning. Just in case the sound system shut out, amen. You got to have a personal praise and a personal relationship, amen. And that's what this time, amen, the best 
fall in the midnight hour when there's nobody else around. I said, Jesus, Jesus, my God, your God, the one that saved you, the one that died for you, will let you. I don't have a church in here this morning. Say, I won't let you fall. I won't let you fall. church in this building this morning. I said, do I have a church this morning that's ready to praise the Lord? I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I know we're in a parking lot, but the Bible says we're two or three. A symbol. Trusting in the Greek. He said, I'll be a God. Feel the Lord in this building this morning. Come on and put your hands together. Listen, we don't go back this morning, amen. See, these are the songs that got my grandmother and my great grandmother through, amen. When the only thing they had was a wooden floor and a washboard. Where your washboard at this morning, Pastor? We got it. Come on, get your tambourine this morning, ladies. Oh, yeah, I feel it this morning. I said, can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my friend, yeah, listen, said he picked me up and he picked me up, turned me around, picked me up, Listen, think heal my body, and he told me, heal my body, told me to run on, heal my body, told me to run on, he's my friend. Listen, we gotta go. Y'all do it like this. Say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Come on and put your hands together. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. Can't nobody rock me like Jesus. I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. I look to the east I look to the west I look to the north and I look to the south I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. I can't, nobody. I can't find 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 nobody. 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 Come on and put your hands together. This ain't nothing but a praise party this morning. Amen. Listen. Said, I don't know what you come to do. 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 Well, I come to clap my hands. I come to clap my hands. 
Hallelujah. If anybody loves the Lord, shout yeah. If anybody loves the Lord, shout yeah. If the Lord has done anything for you, shout yeah. Come on, shout yeah. Step outside of your car, man, this morning yes. for our doxology. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To be a part of something that is moving 
these men are moving yes. out yes. in yes. Christ. Yes. Let's give it up for these men. Hallelujah. And every Tuesday night is the praise team debriefing at Bible study. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Tuesday night was praise is what I do. Yeah. The topic yeah. for that night. Amen. Yeah. And every Wednesday night is our youth Bible study. Yeah. That starts at 7.30 p.m. If you have any nieces or nephews that would like to be a part of something great. Amen. Amen. Please Amen. see Minister Mumford. Amen. Amen. Deacon Sid. Amen. Lady Alls. Uh-huh. And Pastor All to be a part of something great for these youth. Amen. 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 All right. Also, we're coming up to our first family appreciation. Yes. Amen. So just like last year, our obligations are what? Three hundred dollars. Amen. Amen. Per person. Amen. If he did it back then, he could do a what? Again. Again. Yes. Say God what right now? Yes. Y'all ain't ready to have yeah, church yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm Amen. full of joy today. Yeah. Amen. And also, it's coming up for the Thanksgiving baskets. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Sister Regina. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. She'll be giving out some baskets later on. Amen. To those yeah. that were on that list. Amen. Yeah. Anything else? Huh? Well, somebody shout yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Men, 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 men. Amen. If you're not on our Monday night men Bible study, amen, and prayer, amen, I promise you, you're missing a treat, amen. Every single Monday night, amen. Only the men folks are privy to this information. Amen. We come together and just have a great time in the Lord, and amen. And the great thing about it, it's just not men here from Mount Zion, amen. We have men all the way from Georgia that is a part. We have people from Mississippi that is a part, amen. We have people from Texas. We have people that is reaching out, amen, just to be a part, amen, and to hear a word from God, amen. And not just any old word, amen, but a holy word, amen, a righteous word, amen. And God is doing something. And the, and the sweet thing about it, we be on the line sometimes almost two hours and it don't feel like we're on there for two hours. Because we are giving God the praise, the honor, and the glory. And that's the most important thing, amen, because if there ever is a time for men to stand up and be accounted, the time is now. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. And as, as Evangelist Sim spoke, man, we are coming up on our first family appreciation. 11 years in the ministry, man. We're going on 11 years in the ministry. Amen. And as Evangelist said, amen, our, our pledge haven't changed, amen. But what I want you to do is challenge yourself. Yes, it's 300. Somebody say yes. Yes. Amen. But also, if you want to do more than just average, then you would step it up. Somebody shout yes. yes. So what we asked, amen, for the members, amen, yes, it is $300 for those, but those that are leaders, we ask for you to go a little bit deeper, amen, and challenge yourself, amen, because I believe if we're a leader, we have to first lead by example, amen, amen. so um, 300 is average, amen, 500 is getting there, 1,000 is getting there, amen, so let the Lord use you in your giving, amen. A lot of times we rush through this part of the service. Yeah. Amen. But this is the time, amen, as we prepare our hearts to be a blessing to the ministry, amen. This is the time, sometimes we say for everybody to take part in, amen. But if you can, some, we know some's not able. But we also know that some is able. And so if you expect God to do great things for you, I'm just a firm believer, you got to do great things for God. Amen. amen. And sometimes we don't have what we say we have or we don't have. But if the truth be told, we have a little bit more than we claim to have. Somebody shout yes. Yes. Amen. So on this morning, I'm going to ask you, amen. I know we have already pre-filled out the envelopes and not the um, ushers are coming through with the envelopes. But I'm going to ask you this morning as we take on this, 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 this first Sunday of November, I'm going to ask you to, to sow a different seed than you've sown all week long, all year long. I'm going to ask you to challenge yourself in your giving this morning. And I, I guarantee you, we're coming up on a time where everybody's going to need some extra money. Yeah. So if you sow sparingly, you're going to reap sparingly. Yeah. But if you go in your cupboard, amen, and you dig a little deep. You know, my, I had an aunt, you know, she used to, she didn't keep a whole lot in the, in, in the, in the envelope, but she had them stockings that she had rolled on the side. Well, all the money was on the side, my sister. Yeah. And she went in there and she pulled out some good money. Yeah, yeah. So those of you that have hiding places in your wallet, 
in your pocketbook, on the side somewhere. I'm going to ask you to go into that compartment this morning, amen, and be a blessing to the ministry. Amen. As, as, as Dickens Val is coming to give us some giving music, we're going to ask you to give. Somebody shout give. Yeah. Come on, somebody shout give. Yeah. Somebody shout give. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can give online at www.mctcc.org. Amen. With the show name. It makes no difference what you're going through. You're gonna make it. God's gonna be yours. Hold your head up. Put a smile on your face. This is another test. It won't last always. So get ready. Get ready for your blessing. You've been hurting deep down inside. But let me encourage you. It's gonna be alright. Trouble to try you. Come to make you strong. Keep on believing. You keep holding on and get ready. Get ready for your blessing. Your blessing. Get ready. Oh. 
thank God, amen, for, amen, leading the crowd, leading us, amen. At this time, Elder Alls is coming to lead us in our offertory of prayer. Can we say amen for him? Amen. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Father God, we just want to tell you thank you for the gifts, God. We know it's not the gifts, it's not the money, but it's about value. So, God, we thank you that we have value in you, and we ask that you bless the ones that had, and bless the ones that did, God, and we just thank you so much. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We thank you all, amen, for amen. the blessing out of our offering. At this time, amen, Deacon Croker is coming to lead us in our scripture at this time. Can we put our hands together and he come this morning? Good morning, my friend. Good morning. The scripture will be coming from Hebrew chapter 11. My God. Say that. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elder obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. So things which are seen were not made of things which uh, do appear. By faith aid of unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained a witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gift, and it, and by it he being dead, yet speak. I have read you Hebrew chapter 11 to chapter 5. May God bless the ears and the door. Have a great day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, give God a praise. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just take a few minutes, amen, and let your mind go back, amen, and think about where God has brought you from. Think about the sickness that some of us have been through all year long, amen. Think about our health, amen. Think about when we just laid in that bed wishing and hoping that we could get out of the bed and give God a praise. So God have allowed you to come here this morning to be a part of this service. Deacon said, faith is the substance of things. Hope for the evidence of things that is not seen. So somebody is asking God for something, amen. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know when it's coming. But the only thing you can hope and believe in that it is coming. But I come to tell you this morning that God has sent the messenger this morning to deliver the mail. And all you got to do is render a praise this morning. Somebody shout yes. All you got to do is put your hands together and give God a praise. Somebody shout yes. yes. But God has sent the man this morning. And, and not just any old man, not just any ordinary man, but a man of God. Yes. Somebody shout send the man. Send the man. Oh, God has sent the man this morning, amen. The overseer, amen, of Central Florida District. Come on, put your hands together. The senior pastor, amen, of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church, amen. Somebody make some noise this morning. God has sent the man to deliver the message this morning. If you can and you're able, amen, I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet this morning. As our pastor comes this morning, amen, to render a word from God this morning. Come on and put your hands together for the pastor here at Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. Come on, put your hands together for Pastor Stanley Murray this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise this morning. Oh, glory. God is good today, is he not? Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. 
Oh, look at that mother's board over there. All that way.
Because they said the Lord showed up to Adam in the cool of the morning there. I, I got a praise, I got a praise, and I got to get it out. I got to praise.
praise team today, our musicians today. Come on, let me hear some horns blowing. Come on, give some praise today. Yes, 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 yes. My God. Sunday. Put your hands together for Elevation Sunday today. Amen. We are proud to see some people getting elevated today. Because I think over about my brother, Brother James over there, the, who is in charge of his dojo, when you give him a new belt, how proud those parents are to see their children be elevated. And I'm telling you right now, God is proud to the elevation of these people today. For they have not only just been doing the work, they've been living by the word. They're letting their life match their lips. And so I said, God, what would you encourage our young people in their walk in Christ today? And he brought me to the book of Luke, chapter 19. I asked that you would stand in your feet for the reading of the word of God. The book of Luke chapter 19. You have it, say amen. Those that can and will, just step out of your vehicle for just a second while we read the word of God. That's all. You know, when we enter the courtroom, they say, oh, rise. So I know we can at least do that for the Lord. The book of St. Luke chapter 19. He said that Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. Say it with me, for today I must Abide at thy, thy, thy house. Amen. You may be seated. Give it honor to our God, to his son that died on Calvary's cross, to our comfort yet still, the Holy Spirit. This great book of Luke, written some 60 years after the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Luke was a doctor. A man of intense writing. 
And he wrote the book of Luke with 24 chapters, 1,151 verses, 26,640 King James words. Upon this text, you begin to see Jesus relating more and more with the people. And there he was passing through the city of Jericho. The Bible said there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among publicans, and they're very adamant about saying he was rich, Becky. Did it matter that he was rich? For Jesus definitely had a heart for the poor. But Zacchaeus did not know Jesus. Had not accepted the laws of the coming of the Messiah. So with all of that wealth, he still was lacking. Can I be transparent a minute? With all the riches, he was still broke. For Mother McCullough, he could not enjoy the beauty of knowing who Jesus would be in his heart. And for all of us who are going to have the awesome opportunity to see some people be elevated today. I want you to turn to somebody and say, Pastor's going to preach about the only way up is down. The only way up is down. For Zacchaeus, he, he was already a man of status. But the Bible said he was small in stature. He was somebody to somebody. But you can tell that he battled with internal issues of his own. Maybe he didn't feel he was worthy of even the position he was given. Maybe he felt that it should have been given to somebody else. And I want to encourage every blood-washed believer today that when God elevates you in something, it is not just for you. He didn't make you a supervisor of manager just for you to walk around with a name tag on that says supervisor and manager. He gave you an opportunity to build someone up, hopefully to take your place. When he bought you a car, he bought you a car. You didn't buy it because it wasn't your money. It was him who touched Transusion's heart to give you that fixed extra points for your credit score. It was him for him to touch SunTrust or Bank of America to approve your loan for that house you got. It was him. So every time he elevates you into something, there is a reason that you will find out much sooner than later. And so let's look at the text of just verse 5. He says, when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. My brothers and sisters, we're going to be strong. I promise you won't be long, so I need your prayer. The fifth verse quickly tells us, and when Jesus came to the place there he was all these people around if this brother was as important as it sounded why did he have to climb into a tree why was there not a place made for him if he was that important they said he was a chief of the public and sometimes in our life, we're standing around trying to figure out why we are not put in a particular place. But God said, if 
he has truly desired to see him, he is going to have to do three things. Can I tell you about him right quick? He says the only way is up is down. So what must I do? He said when Jesus reached the place, the spot, the area, Zacchaeus was already in position to see the Lord. And there's so many times in our life that when God wants to elevate us, we're in the wrong place. And I'm not talking about in physicality. I'm talking about in mentally and spiritually. We're at a place for our elevation, but we're not in that place to accept the elevation. We run and Rick every chance we get. Because we don't want what it's going to take for us to be elevated. Because I got to tell you, you will lose more of yourself and you gain more of God when you're elevated. Y'all, this ain't, this ain't going over well. Let me try it again. When you're elevated in God, you lose more of yourself and gain more of God. Hence the problem. If I hang more with others than with God, I continue to lose more of God and gain more of myself. And so you have to ask yourself, when I'm coming up short, is it because I've been giving people, places, and things more of me than God? Luke reminds us clearly, he says, when Jesus reached the spot, the only way up and down, the only way up is down. He's saying, no matter the place, brothers and sisters, you got to be prepared for your elevation. And for some of us, we can't move from being sick to being well because we've accepted being sick. We made it part of our routine. We made it part of our lifestyle. Some of us cannot move to the place of joy because we love being depressed. Now it's one thing to cry, but it's another thing to cry for no reason. What I mean by that? That you can become so depressed that you don't even know why you cry. You, you can become so lost in what the enemy has placed upon your mind that you cannot even move into a spirit that would separate you from the enemy. You, you, you connect with those things you know that mean you know well to your body, your mind, or your spirit. You find substitutes through bottles and bags, through skirt tails and pants legs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. To late night phone calls and... You, Y'all remember when we had a people? Let me help you. Y'all Google that. Y'all people, they, they, y'all Google that. Young folk under uh, yeah, under twenty. Y'all Google that. But they had called a people, Sister Glenn. And some of us used to get beeps. There was a code. Ain't none of y'all live wrong. All y'all been living. And mother, the beep came. Grandma called it the witching hour. But it came in the midnight hour. And right when you knew you was at your weakest, hear that John come. Right when you know you was going through, here come Boquisha. And they didn't mean you no good. And after they came and took everything from you that meant anything to you, they left you there feeling less of a person. So by the time you made it to church on Sunday, you ain't have no praise. Somebody this morning, I'm gonna step on the limb, I know it's gonna break. Somebody this morning is sitting here today 
just watching me online that's saying I ain't got nothing left but I beg to differ because if you can hear the sound of my voice you can hear God whispering to you take what you do got left and just give out a praise and say Lord the only way up is down on my knees I can't stand up no more I'm up no more. I'm coming down so you can come up and take care of me. Do I got anybody? Y'all just wave their hand. Y'all just blow their hope. And said, I, I believe that he will take care of me. See that? Somebody just missed that one. See that? Somebody was out of place on that one. It don't take all that. Take all that. Take all that. But last night you couldn't stop them from crying. I don't know how much gin you gonna drink. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all Cavassiers and uh, the VSOPs and, and y'all even took the Lord and put his name in vain and called it Easy Jesus. And for all of y'all, well, I just drink wine. Well, two bottles, two bottles of, 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 you know, two liters of wine. I don't know, maybe, you know. I ain't talking about it, but I'm just talking about myself. How can I say that I want to be close to God when I find things that keep me separated from Him? And I walk around and I'm, I'm, I'm not sober-minded to hear the Spirit of the Lord. And I want to encourage you today that if you're going through something that there's a bigger purpose that you just quite don't understand yet. So it's good to get yourself around godly counsel people that's going to always remind you that God loves you and wants to do something great in your life. You just got to quit getting around weak people with strong things. You got to quit talking to weak folk about strong situations so that God can build you up that you can say the only way up is down. So then he said, he looked up and he said to him, Jesus reached the place. He said, he looked up and said to him, now I separate that. First is no matter your place. Now God is saying, no matter your position, the only way up is down. So what's the difference between a place and a position? The place is the area that you're in. The position is the statue that you give. Uh -huh. Can I talk about it for a second? Talk about it. Catch this now because it's going to be quick. I need to see you. I need to see you. Didn't that sound the same? But why did it feel the same? The position of my hand turn the situation right. so let me try this again devil get out my life devil get out my life when you begin to change your position of what you need from God you can't sit out on everything every now and then you gotta stand up grandma said fix your clothes fix your face and say out loud that Lord I need you in my life I done tried this and I done tried that so all I need is to try Jesus he's alright have you tried it He's all right. Do I got anybody that is here? I tried it. And I come to tell you that he is all right. Can, can, can I go there for a second? I know we got to move on. Let me go this for a second. Let me help somebody. Y'all got to start getting finicky about who y'all let in y'all circle. 
Just because you work with these people don't mean you need to let these people in your spirit. I hope I'm helping somebody here. Just because you work with them don't mean they need to know the inner workings of what God is doing with you. Because sometimes when people say they're praying for you, oh, they praying to a bag of rice. They praying to some golden image. They, they lighting incense and cigarettes and everything else and blacking mouths and whatever they want to light up and pray gets you on. But I come by to tell you that when you learn how to get up by getting down and telling God the issues that are hindering you from loving him, you'll see God begin to build you up, put you in a place, and set you free. Do I got anybody that want to be set free? Let me hear you. And so, and so, King of Peaches of Kids sitting on that limb, watching Jesus come by. The Bible says. And the Lord looked up and said to him, Zazius, Achilles, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Elevations don't come one time. Every morning you get up, the Lord wants to come to your house that day. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Do I got anybody? It says I believe in the Lord. No matter my place, I believe in the Lord. No matter my position, I believe in the Lord. No matter my purpose. That's willing to be sick to save the realm. Is there anybody willing to be broke to save the wealthy? Is there anybody willing to go through to bring joy to others? Uh, yeah, I believe about a story, his story. On a cross, weighing some 300 pounds, he walked the road, called Golgotha, some 200 yards. This man was put up on that cross and still looked down to love others, and they talked and they spit on him and they beat him. All night long, the blood, the blood, the blood, come running down, all down his face. They put him on a tomb, and there he was, cat nine tail, strike, strike, strike for me, strike for mama. Strike for daddy, strike for my kids. Yeah. But he didn't move, he took it just for you and just for me. They did it, they lied on him. Elevation, they got to the lie on you. If they don't lie on you, you ain't doing your job. With both eyes closed, saying, Lord, the only way up is for me to get down on my knees.
nobody chasing you. Come on home to the loving arms of Jesus. If that person is you, won't you come while you still have time. Because they don't need to worry. What tomorrow is going to bring It'll be all over in the morning. I want to take the opportunity, maybe you're looking for your church home. A place of accountability. You're in one right now? Why don't you come? Why there's still time? We'll accept you under your love and the fellowship of Jesus Christ by your own admittance the true belief in the baptism you receive that the Lord Jesus died for your sins my deacons will pray our communion table we want to take an opportunity right before we start our communion this morning we want you to witness something very special we have some leaders that are going to be coming and giving some positions of accountability, responsibility, reliability because of their availability. something really great today. <clears throat> so we're going to call up Evangelist Geraldine Sims.
position. Amen. Put your hands together for First Lady Murray today. In all of her glory. start with appointment of our church mothers. Amen. We're going to ask if Sister Lucille Bell and Sister Kim McFadden would come standing in the front of our Come on, put your hands together for them. Amen. appointed as church mothers of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. I have inquired concerning them and have found them to be worthy to be set aside and appointed as leaders. Amen. The role of the church mother is indeed one of great importance and a must for a growing church. She is the pastor in the church what a mother is to her children at home. Here's a very important task for the local church mother. She should hold monthly meetings with the women of the church and teach them things women should know. Nothing more or greater than teaching how a woman can become a lady. This is far more effective through the church mother's board. This board is made up of a group of seasoned and well-informed women in the church administration. Not just in the spiritual, but in natural things as well. This board shall consist of a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. As Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church mothers, you must know your obligation to God, to the church, to the first lady, and your pastors in order to instruct others. This board shall teach the support of the church and the pastors. The women should be taught community, respect, and appreciation. Will you as church mothers lead and teach along these lines? If you do, say by saying, so I will by the help of God. The major responsibility is to build every auxiliary of the women's department in the church to work with the women's president and assist her in the understandings and the ways of life. Church members should have fingertip information as to the functions of every auxiliary. And that means that you should visit with those leaders by phone call or seeing them here and there and saying, how are you doing today, baby? And if they feel the need to share with you, feel free to allow the Spirit of God to you to direct them to the places of the Lord. You should be free of gossip and false tongues. A strong church is one that is spirit-filled and well-organized. This will not take away from the pastor, but enhance his program and help to build the kingdom of God. Will you do this? If so, by saying, by the help of God. An effective church board cannot operate without the authority released by the past and officers of the church. It is unfair to appoint a chairman of the board and tie her hands in the hands of the board. Women who cannot be trusted should not be appointed because the responsibility is too great. A failure in operation will impede the progress of the church. Will you do your best to continue for this ministry to grow? In spirit and in truth. If so, gladly and willingly say, I will by the help of God. 
there should be a church a pastor church mother relationship going on at all times and the pastor should be able to request anything within reason to the church board and look for others for results will you do so gladly and willingly if so say I will by the help of God I asked my church board if they would stand the church mother's board would stand mother Porter you at the point being as one of our senior mothers I would ask do you see no need? Do you see any need that these mothers should not be appointed? If so, speak now. Thank you. And so we bestow unto you, ladies, a holy Bible. Another keepsake that you will utilize and the upbringing of not just yourselves, but those within the church ministry. Taking the authority and executing the appointment for church mothers of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We no longer say Sister Lucille Bell, we now say Mother Lucille Bell. We no longer say Sister Kim Ruben, we say Mother Kim Ruben. Put your hands together. Let me hear some horns for the puppet of our mother's board today. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask if Mother McCullough will give a quick prayer over the mothers. Mother Donna would, if there's one thing she would tell the mothers, the new mothers coming in, how they would be best to be a church mother, you would just tell them quickly how to be a great church mother. Basically, just be kind to everyone, yeah. show your love for God and how they should love God, and basically just be a good leader and a good example. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for our mothers. Come on, one more time. Let's get a little loud in here. Amen. God bless your mothers. Licensing a minister. Pastor, I present unto you Dr. Diana Munford and evangelist. Jeredine Sim, Jeredine Shaw, to be licensed as a minister. I have inquired concerning them and found them to be worthy to be licensed as ministers at Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. Amen. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit. Different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working. But the same God works all of them in all men. Congregation, we come today for the elevation of Evangelist Dr. Diana Mumford and Evangelist Geraldine Sims to the license of minister. If there be one today that sees any reason, fact, I repeat fact, that they should not be elevated, come forth right now or forever hold your peace. Ain't nobody mad. You've been recommended by the leadership of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church 
to serve as a minister. You're declared to your willingness to serve. Do you accept these responsibilities in the office to which you're being licensed? And do you promise to faithfully and officially discharge your duties? If so, answer, I do, by the help of the Lord. Will you seek to promote and maintain a spiritual relationship with goals to hold you, minister, so that clients, meaning congregations, may be strengthened? If so, say, I do, by the help of the Lord. Do you promise to honor God and your church in your service, behavior, and conduct? If so, answer, I do, by the help of the Lord. Congregation, if you have saw fit to see that these two be elevated in the faith of God, I ask you today, will you acknowledge and receive their licenses, given the respect and honor that is due? If so, repeat, I do, by the help of the Lord. The Bible tells us to go to you, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded to you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. We take authority today. I will ask that Pastor Palmer will come and bestow the minister tabs. Shaw will come and pass his Bible to his wife. He can see him will come and pass his Bible to his wife. You may pass that Bible and salute her on the cheek so y'all can move on because if y'all go to kiss her on the lips, I don't tell her what that might be. And so you're bestowed upon these certificates, acknowledging your elevation to minister, license, under the house of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. Put your hands together for our licensed ministers today. Come on! Come on, we can do better than that. God, we've been called to God's family. God called Abraham and Sarah to the pioneers of faith. Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to lead the community of Israel to freedom. And prophets who in turn called people to come home to God. God called Mary and Joseph to parent Jesus, who then called disciples to work with him. God called Paul, Paul and Barnabas, Priscilla and Aquila, and others to minister to the first century church of Jesus Christ. God in a mysterious way calls each of us and all of us together to share God's word, to love to all who hunger and thirst. God calls our leaders to serve the church, equipping its members with gifts, preparing the spirits to be a family of hope and peace. I'm going to ask if Elder Alls, Lady Alls will step up to the area. He has accepted our call as a call from God. As co-workers for Christ, we are here to install him as youth pastor of this congregation 
in the name of the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Put your hands together. Ten years ago, the Lord called me to serve as the senior pastor of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. This past year, a pastoral search was held. We worked together to assess our needs, to look over our profiles, and discuss the gifts of this candidate. We were blessed earlier to have the associate pastor, Reggie Palmer, with me, along with his beautiful helpmate. Lady Phyllis Palmer. And so now, knowing that our youth needed an upbringing and a trifle way of knowing that God was going to bless them with a truly a resume that respects nothing more than a love for young people. Both Elder Alls and Lady Sonia Alls have displayed this, not just here, but in past ministries as well. And so we pray that as you give your gifts to us, that we also give our gifts to God. In the spirit of family feasting, God's purpose will be carried out in this congregation. We will now call up a youth as a representative from the youth department. And so we love them better than we would have your son, Marvin Owens Jr. <laughs> so we provide you with this Bible. you with the Bible and continue adding to your life. May the scriptures continue to guide you, keep you, and bless you and your household. Bob and I'll show you. As the symbol of our wonderings when we were young, when we are of a younger son, we give you these shoes. We are grateful you are willing to share questions with us about expressing our faith and finding out who we are in a confusing world. We invite you to continue walking with us as our youth pastor. Oh, your daddy. Oh, your daddy. <laughs> Put your hands together, amen. We were asked if he could sit and Deacon Croker will come up. We asked if Deaconess Valerie and Deaconess Letitia will come as well. symbol of being the elder brother, we give you this separate shaft. As we continue to work as ministering teams with you, we look forward to a mutual growth. We offer our support, our ideas, our feedback, our openness, and honesty. As deacons, we offer our concerns, our feelings, our love, and prayers. God can use our combined resources to stimulate growth within our church. We love you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
coach, friend, as we work together with the children, youth, younger and older adults of this congregation. Sharing God's love takes place not only up front, but behind the scenes as well. God work is the workful work. Amen. We will now call Pastor Farmer, Associate Pastor of Mount Zion Covenant Christian Church. Senior Pastor Murray, the congregation has asked Elder Marlon All Senior to join you in pastoral ministry. As lead pastor, will you team with him? sharing and receiving each other's ministries, gifts, insight, and counsel. Will you endeavor to complement each other as you together share the pastoral ministry here at Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church? I am delighted to minister alone, by not only Elder Marvin Alls, as a pastor, but as my friend and as my brother. I will seek to support and compliment his used ministry in order for God's work to be enjoyed, lived in the life of our congregation. Lady Sonia Alls, life has taught you that the vocational calling of one person always has a bearing on their married partner. Are you able to support, to support Elder Alls and his callings to pastoral ministry? I fully support my husband's call to pastoral ministry. I will support, encourage, and affirm his ministry with and among this congregation. I look forward to walking with my husband and will share my gifts of hospitality creativity, and spiritual inspiration. I will also continue to be a part of the lay ministries of this church. Elder Marvin all Senior, seeing that God has called you into ministry, that this church has called you to pastoral leadership, that you're about to enter into a covenant relationship with its members, I ask you, do you promise that as a youth pastor of this congregation, you will faithfully try to carry out the duties of your ministry? Will you seek to exercise wisely and in Christian love the authority that has been entrusted to you in this office? Will you faithfully teach the word of God for the instruction and inspiration of those to whom you minister? Will you lead the congregation in reaching out to invite others into the reign of God and to disciple them within the church? I promise to do so with God's help. I commit myself to ministry with integrity. I will attempt to be honest about my struggles and failures as well as my convictions and visions. I will pray for you, be available to you, never scandalize, never scandalize, your, never scandalize your name or bring shame to Mount Zion. And I will celebrate your unique spiritual journeys. By God's grace, let us build up our congregation and invite the world to join us in being God's holy family. Woo. Woo. I'm going to ask if all our ministry uh, leaders, uh, as far as um, clergy, will come up for laying of hands. Up. 
is done. Thank you, God, for touching the hands, for touching the mind, for touching the heart of your servant child right here today, God. Lord, we ask you to continue to strengthen her. Give her the mind, the understanding, the wisdom to lead your people, dear God, under the leadership of her husband, dear God. Lord, we ask you to bless and keep this family. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And so, sisters and brothers of Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church, stand right there. You've heard the commitment made by Elder Marvin Oz in accepting the call to youth pastoral leadership in this church. Do you receive him as your youth pastor? Are you ready to give him your prayerful support? Do you promise to be God's family with him and accept him as one being called by God to lead you in the work of the church and Christ at this place? If so, I ask that you would stand right now, give honor to God, praise him. And join me in the printed affirmation. So I ask that you will repeat after me. We pledge our support for your ministry as you support our ministries. Repeat after me. We pledge our support for your ministry as you in turn support our ministry we join with you in seeking first the kingdom of God consider your assignment as God at work in and through you in ministering to human need may you be given a deep love for those lives you will touch. And may God, Christ, be known through you in word and deed. Our prayers, our prayers, our prayers will continually support you. Amen. Based on this covenant between the congregation and you, Elder Marvin Alls, I solemnly install you now as You've passed the part of God's family, committing them to your spiritual oversight and care. In the name of Jesus Christ, to God be the glory through the Holy Spirit. Take down now the office of pastor at Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. I present to your certificate, Pastor Marvin R. C. Put your hands for the Lord today. 
We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for being a part of the best church outside of heaven, Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. Let me hear some horns, let me hear some praise. Let me hear you giving God all the glory. To all of our Facebook fans and those who were not able to make it today, thank you so much for being a part of this with us. Continue to know that God will take care of you. Come by and see us Sundays at 11.30 a.m. Catch us through the week on our midweek Bible studies. All I can tell you is all you need is a touch from him. God bless you. Amen. Those that can and will prepare for communion today. Amen.
the bread, a representation of the broken body on Calvary's cross. Take ye all of it. The cup, a representation of the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. And there be no shedding of blood, there be no remission of our very sins. Take ye, drink all of it. Amen. We thank God for this day. Amen. Amen. I know it was a blood. I know it was a blood. for you. In your precious son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And I know it. And I know it. Amen. 